three days into early voting for Ohio's August special election and turnout numbers are much higher than originally expected. So we're checking in with the man in charge. NBC4 State House reporter Natalie Fahmy uh, sat down one on one with Ohio Secretary of State Frank LaRose. Natalie, there's one issue on the August ballot, but a lot of other issues surrounding the election, right? That's right, Jared. Even though we're only three days into early voting, like you said, there are certainly some high tensions as confusion spreads about things like absentee ballot request forms. So I sat down with LaRose to help set the record straight. With early voting underway for a single issue August election, some counties in Ohio are seeing higher than expected turnout in the first few days. I asked LaRose if that surprises him. No, not at all, and it doesn't surprise me either that our boards of elections are ready to go. LaRoe says he won't try to predict turnout, but we do know in addition to thousands showing up to the polls already, thousands of absentee ballots have also been requested. You have until one week before Election Day to request one, but the way to do it changed under a new law. This is a decision that the General Assembly made. I candidly was not really pushing for that before to request an absentee ballot. All you needed was a piece of paper to write down required information. Now you must apply for one on a prescribed form by the Secretary of State's office like this one. But despite what some advocacy groups are saying, LaRose tells me he will be flexible. Say they had a form from 2017 or 2018. Uh, if they use that form, we're going to accept it. Have you stayed consistent in accepting or not accepting for? Oh, 100 percent. In fact, uh, you know, we've we've followed the letter of the law, the directive that we've sent out. We've been 100 percent consistent about this. And as far as campaigning goes, LaRose has been on the road encouraging a yes vote on issue one that would make it more difficult to amend the state's constitution. He says he believes in the issue and is well within his purview to spread that message. I have my official responsibilities, but I also in my off duty time can advocate for things I care about. That's a, a well known fact and every secretary of state that's ever held this office has managed to kind of wear both hats. And Now, LaRose did testify in favor of getting rid of those special August recurring elections, but then did support bringing them back for issue one. Now for something you'll only see on NBC4. During my one on one with LaRose, I asked him when we can expect an official announcement for his possible U.S. Senate run to challenge Democratic incumbent Sherrod Brown. Here's what he had to say. The journey of a thousand miles begins with the first step and that first step of, you know, formally announcing uh, if I'm going to run, I'd love to be able to get that underway as soon as possible. So I think you could watch for something next week even. LaRose would be the fourth Republican throwing his name in the race. Local for you at the State House, I'm Natalie Fahmy, NBC4.